everything we see exists in a delicate balance from the tiniest of seahorses to the biggest whales in the ocean. Everything is connected. And when a whale dies in the ocean, its body sinks down to the sea floor and provides food for hundreds of organisms in what's called a whale fall. A whale fall occurs when the body of the whale falls to a depth below 1,000 metres. Once settled on the ocean bed, the carcass creates a complex and localised ecosystem that can feed deep sea organisms for decades. Because of the freezing temperatures of the deep ocean, decomposition of the body is significantly slowed and due to the extreme nature of the deep, there are fewer scavengers that can make use of the body. A whale fall has three main stages of activity. The first occurs right when the body hits the sea floor and scavengers loot the carcass. These can include organisms like crabs, hagfish or sharks. These scavengers will feed until they can no longer get anything useful from it. This phase can last for days or weeks depending on the size of the body and the depth it has fallen to. The next phase is the enrichment opportunist phase. A variety of small animals like worms, mollusks and crustaceans feed on any organic material left over on the bones and in the blubber. The sediment around the whale has become enriched with nutrients and becomes a place for organisms to burrow into so that they can feed. This can last for many years. The last stage is the sulfophilic stage and it can last decades. During this time, only the skeleton remains and bacteria begin to break down fats and oils in the bones. This releases hydrogen sulphide, which attracts more bacteria, and this provides nourishment for mussels, clams and sea snails. And so when a whale dies, its body becomes the food, the deep sea dwellers eat the food, and so we are all connected in the great circle of life.